So what is um, cupping, and then what, when would you not use cupping? So cupping is a soft tissue technique that is intended to lift up the soft tissue fascia muscle underneath the cup in order to create circulation under the cup. So it helps to improve circulation, but also if the suction is bigger enough, it can lengthen the tissue underneath. So it helps to decrease swelling, improve circulation, improve flexibility, and also promote healing because if the blood flow is increased under the area, the blood usually contains a lot of healing agents. So it will speed up the healing process of the involved tissue. There are conditions that I would not use cupping if the client is currently in their first trimester of pregnancy, have cancer going on, or with back pain that's from a disc herniation type of back pain, I would not use cupping to create more space to aggravate the condition. Or if somebody has open wound and infection or having a scar that is still very fragile, I would not use that. However, if the patient's wound or scar is being more stabilized over time, I might actually use cupping to facilitate some scar mobility, but then definitely no acute phase of the wound. But then in general, cupping is a very safe, it's a very safe procedure because the protocol is very clearly monitored. And also another myth is that cupping will always create a lot of bruises, but then it's not true because there are very light techniques. And then if the proper after care is done to promote the circulation, usually it won't create as much of a bruising like we commonly see on TV.